Hello there, this is Mommy with Flowers by the Bunch. Today I need to put together an arrangement that's going to sit on top of a whiskey barrel at a wedding. We actually have two matching pieces, but I'm gonna make one for you today. What I've done is this is a bowl I picked up at Walmart. It's a very sturdy, plastic type bowl. Um, it was, I think it was over in the dishes section and it's used for um, probably a salad bowl. Anyway, um, I have taken two pieces of floral foam and I've taped them into place. Now you see the green tape on the outside of the bowl. That's completely okay because quite honestly, I'm going to overflow the greenery so that you can't see the bowl at all. I want it to sit on top of the, um, on top of the whiskey barrel as if it was made directly on top. We're gonna start out with, um, some magnolia. So I went out and harvested some magnolia stems. I just um, cut these from the tree. I'm going to take them and just stick them right into this floral foam. Um, magnolia breaks really easily. So you see that I'm not really cutting it. Here's some snips. Um, it doesn't cut. It's woody. It's got a pretty good woody stem. It doesn't cut very well with, um, with a knife. And so, I'm, gonna, I'm just taking some floral snips and I'm just cutting that stem. And I am just pushing that right into that floral foam. Now this is really just giving me a base and it's inexpensive. It didn't cost me any money. And so that's the reason I chose to use Magnolia. Now I certainly have some pretty foliages that I'm going to also use. But I thought for a good base that we would use fresh magnolia stems. Now the wonderful part about magnolia is magnolia lasts a long time. Even out of water, it's a long lasting foliage. So it's going to hold up with no problems whatsoever. Now after these arrangements are made, they're going to go into my cooler. Um, until Saturday morning when I take them out to the wedding site. Okay. So I have my magnolia in place. Get one more small stem. magnolia is in place in my container. Next what I'm going to do is, and so it's pretty big, you see it's a pretty good size arrangement, okay? Next what I'm going to do is I am going to take some pompous grass plumes. Now they are shedding and I will spray them with a little bit of, um, I will spray them with some poly, um, a clear poly um, spray, and that's gonna help keep them from shedding. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you how they're gonna go into this arrangement. So I'm gonna take these pompous plumes, I'm going to cut those and go ahead and add them into the arrangement. Now I realize it's probably kinda hard to see on this backdrop because the backdrop is white. Um, these pompous plumes I went out and harvested. Now, here in Mississippi they grow really easily and so they're real easy to harvest. But you can certainly order these online or even purchase them at your craft store. But thankfully, we have plenty of room to harvest. We can harvest really easily. So there's our pompous plumes. Next, I'm gonna come in with a little bit of agonis foliage. Agonis is kind of a burgundy color um, foliage, so I'm gonna take it and we're gonna do kind of an airy look with our agonis. Now, agonis is um, also called After Dark. Um, it's a really pretty, I love it because I love that it's kind of um, feathery, just a really pretty foliage. So there's some agonis. So 
So it's just kind of a, a really pretty maroon color foliage. Okay, next I'm gonna come in. Let's see what else. I have taken some Israeli Ruscus and Robbie took it outside and spray painted it a dark blue. So the wedding pictures that are her, um, her pictures that she really liked had dry, lots of dried materials in it. Well, dried materials are a little pricey and so I find that this is called Israeli Ruscus. Israeli Ruscus is really pretty inexpensive. So we took the Israeli Ruscus and we took it outside and spray painted it blue. Now this is going to give her a little bit of that blue color that she was after. It's going to pull the same effect as the dried materials, yet it's gonna be much more cost effective. Um, and so to me, that's important. It's important that if I am more cost effective on the foliage, then I am able to use more flowers in my arrangements, right? And so, um, my bride is pretty laid back with the types of flowers that we use. She just really had um, a style and a color scheme that she was going for. And so that's what we're going to aim for more than the exact type of, of flowers. She really didn't know a whole lot about flower types. She just wanted me to go in the, in the right color scheme. So that's what we're doing. So I have taken or had my sister um, take this right outside and spray paint it with a pretty, it's a more of a navy blue paint. Um, so it's kind of hard to see, but it has that touch of navy blue. Now, I'll be honest, this is pretty all by itself. It would be nice on a barrel. It doesn't necessarily have to have lots of flowers, but we have to put flowers in. So next we're gonna come in with some hydrangeas. Now, if you're anything like me, you're gonna be surprised by these hydrangeas. They are absolutely amazing hydrangeas. They look a whole lot like an antique hydrangea, but these are actually dyed. Now they're called rainbow, I don't think that's a great word, I mean, name for them because quite honestly, they look just like an antique hydrangea. It's got a little bit of green, a touch of blue, and that pretty burgundy that my bride was after. And so they are amazing, absolutely beautiful flowers. I'm gonna take this hydrangea, I'm gonna cut it at an angle, and I'm dipping it in something called quick dip. Now the reason I use quick dip is it's going to help keep this head hydrated. I'm gonna take that, I usually dip it about seven seconds, and then I'm gonna tuck it deep into my container, into my arrangement. Now I have removed all of the foliage because when the water comes up that stem, it wants to hydrate the foliage first. So I'm just removing that foliage so it'll go straight to that head. But see that pretty burgundy that's in there? They look so real. So I'm gonna take, cut that in an angle, dip it for about seven seconds or so, and I'm tucking that deep down into my container. And you see, I'm just kind of turning my container. It's gonna be an all the way around container. We're gonna use this at the wedding, and then we're also going to move it over to the reception. So we're gonna use the flowers in two different places, which to me is always a wonderful idea. One more hydrangea. <clears throat> All right, there's our hydrangeas tucked in. Next, we're gonna come in with a lot of burgundy. So I have some burgundy button moms, which y'all, to me, in the fall, there's nothing prettier. Well, honestly, I love moms, period. I like them all year round, but look at these button moms. They're beautiful little buttons. Now button moms look just like a little button. It's just a little round button mom. Um, love them, I love them. They come in lots of colors, but this burgundy is really pretty. So I'm just gonna take these stems, strip down that foliage, cut them and tuck them right into the foam. 
Another thing about mums is they're inexpensive, yet they last a long time. And so to me, that's wonderful. To have something that's not very expensive, but it lasts a long time is a great thing. So I'm just gonna take these mums, strip that foliage down, and then just tuck them right in to that floral foam. Those hydrangeas really are pretty. I am so pleased with those hydrangeas. Again, they're called rainbow hydrangeas, and I got those, all these flowers, I ordered from a company called Budsy. If anybody wants their information, just drop that, um, drop a comment down below. I am so happy to share their information with you. Um, they are a company that works um, out of South America. All their growers are in South America. Um, so lots of South American products, but some pretty stuff, y'all. Pretty, pretty stuff. But these hydrangeas come from that company, and they're called Rainbow Hydrangeas, and they're so pretty. I'm so pleased. So pleased. Okay, next I'm going to come in with some mums, some more mums. These are called Cremones, and these Cremones are also kind of in a, a reddish, a burgundy color. Um, Cremones or Dis Buds. Um, which is a, just a single larger flower. I'm gonna take those and tuck those in. They're also long lasting like the Button Moms. They're just a different variety. Don't know if there's anything better than a, than a mom in the fall. And these are um, just little nets. They're just covering the heads of the moms to keep them safe during travel. And so I just slide that little net right off the flower. And you need to be a little careful because sometimes you'll pull that little head off. So be careful when you go to pull those nets. Um, but they work well and help to keep those flowers safe. I'm going to set my dip over here on the table so it doesn't fall off. Okay, so there are our flowers. We've got some hydrangeas, some mums, some button mums, some um, agonis. I also have some really pretty pink mandal roses. Now, these roses should open on up when I get them um, out in the um, actual, at the actual, um, venue. I am not going to leave them out to let them open up right now and that's strictly because I want them to last and I want them to be pretty. A mandal is one of my favorite um, flowers, favorite rose varieties and the reason a mandal is one of my favorite is it's just a very hardy rose and it's got a very large petal count. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a forest wire and I'm gonna run it into the calyx of the rose. The calyx is the small swollen part right below that rose. Now the reason I am wiring these roses, I wire them all, mind you, even if they're going in water. But the reason if I am using wire is because I need these roses to hold up um, all weekend long. It's important that they hold up. So I'm going to take that wire and I'm going to wire each one. I'm going to remove any of the bad petals. Go ahead and pop those off. Remove any petals that don't look pretty. I love these mandals. This is such a pretty combination. I love that we're adding some blue to this burgundy and pink and, and ivory. Um, the blue is so pretty and such a great addition, I think. So you see that I'm just kind of turning the arrangement and adding flowers all the way around. And 
So I have one more after this one to wire. Okay, so they're all wired. And you just saw me just stick that little wire in, take it, cut it at an angle, and just tuck it right into my arrangement. Okay, my next flower, or it's kind of a filler flower really, the next thing I'm going to add to this pretty arrangement is called thistle, blue thistle. Now y'all, I know I say a lot of things are, are my favorite. Look how pretty this blue thistle is. Such a pretty blue color. Works great for this color combination. I'm gonna take it, cut it at an angle, and I'm just tucking it right into this arrangement. Um, this is a natural blue, and it is fantastic. Honestly, perfect for this fall wedding. This is an October wedding, and so just perfect for this October wedding because it kind of gives you that, that fall pod looking, and I love it. And then to finish this arrangement off, I am going to add some Hypericum berries. Hypericum berries come in lots of colors and if you've watched many of my videos, you've seen me use Hypericum berries or coffee berries they're called. Really pretty berries. These are kind of a maroon color and I'm just gonna tuck a few stems of these Hypericum berries in here and just kind of, I love that it gives it that another little bit of fall look. It's a great texture. And this arrangement, my friends, has lots of texture. And I think that's great. Oop, I broke a stem, so I'm just gonna pull that right off. I'm gonna put it to the side and we can always use, if you have any pieces that broke off, they can always be used in flowers to wear. So I'm gonna set that to the side because don't throw it away if you can use it. And there you have it. There is our arrangement. I've got one more thing. One more thing that her picture showed. Sorry about that. So the last thing I'm gonna add is this spiral or baby blue eucalyptus. Um, spiral eucalyptus, it's a eucalyptus, same color as all of the other eucalyptus. It's just an upright growth. This is the eucalyptus when you think of the fragrance of eucalyptus. This has that fragrance. This is used a lot. Um, you can use it in your shower to give you kind of that spa-like feel in the shower. Um, to me, I love the smell of eucalyptus. Now, some people do not, but ooh, I like it. So I'm just sticking a few stems here and there. I am very pleased. I love how the magnolia gives us a good fullness and the fact that the magnolia was free. That's always a plus to me. Um, I always find that if I can go out and harvest it, like this was in the neighbor's yard. And so it was very easy to harvest. And so I love to use harvest harvested materials because that means I can I don't have to pay for it and it, I get more for my money. Or you get more for your money, especially. The customer does. 
All right, guys, there is our finished arrangement, and I am oh so pleased with how pretty it turned out. Um, thank you so much for being here with me today. I'm going to go outside and take a good picture of this so that you can see the finished product. If you like this video, please be sure to subscribe down below and keep an eye out. We are fixing to... Um, open up a brand new website so that you're able to purchase some of our wreaths and some different things from our shop, our um, online website. Um, and so look forward to that and we will see you all real soon. Thanks guys.